everyone, this is Hugh from Hugh's Views and News. Today I'm going to show you how to do a pingback on your blog post. It's a very easy thing to do. The first thing you need to do is you need to go to the blog that you want to do the pingback to. So in this instance, uh, it's on Gems Books and it's the first of my uh, How to Become a Successful Blogger posts. Uh, here you need to go up to the address bar of the blog and highlight it and then just copy the address there to the blog post. So I'm going to press command and copy and then go back to the post that I've created to put this ping back on. Uh, and here you then need to then just highlight where you want the ping back to go. You can either use just one word or you can use a whole sentence, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to use just the one word down here, the word here. Uh, and then what you do next, you go up to this little link here, insert edit link, it looks like a little bit of chain. If you just click on that, a new box will open. And here you need to paste in here the blog address uh, of where you want the ping back to go to. So that's back to Janice's blog. So if I just press command and V on my keyboard, It'll copy the address into that box. And just one more important thing here before you press the add link button is there's a little box down here called open link in a new window tab. I always recommend you put a tick in the box there. If you don't put a tick in the box there, then what will happen is that when anybody clicks on the link on your blog, it'll open up the blog page that you're linking to on the same page. And therefore the person will lose your page altogether and they will have to go back and find the page they were originally on and that could lose you a comment or a follow or a reblog etc. So always put a tick in that box there and then what will happen then is that whenever anybody clicks on your pingback link on your blog post it will open the blog page you're linking to in a brand new window. So let's click add link. Uh, and then the final thing I do is I highlight the sentence or the word where I've inserted the ping back and I just make it bold so it stands out a bit more and also change it into a nice colour so that um, when you look at it you can just see down here now that there's a ping back here uh, and that will divert people's eyes to that word and hopefully they will press on it. And that's how you do a ping back.